So let's try and figure out how to find the, the midpoint of this segment. And you've already looked at ways to graph points in three dimensions where this is x, this is y, this is z. Um, and let's think about that midpoint. And when you were doing midpoint for, for two dimensions, um, you just thought about kind of averaging the x's because we wanted, you know, what was in the middle of the x and averaging the y's, what was in the middle of the y. And it's basically the same idea here. So if you if you think about the way this is graphed, the two, the two, three, four, it's two in the x direction, so here, three in the y direction, so here. So where did those two things hook up? And then four in the z direction, so then four up from there. It's a little more square than that, so it's kind of like that. And same thing with this, this is like three in the x direction, uh, five in the y direction, and then two in the it should be more straight up than that uh, and then two in that in the z direction so what we can do is we can think of we have um, the z direction here we have this x direction here and this y direction here so if we were to average all of those and then go up that right amount that would give us that that midpoint so if I think about the x part of it, that must be at, uh, if I add those x components together, that gives me a 5, and then average them, divide by how many. Um, and then I could do the same thing with the, the y part. So notice that I could say, what's the average of the y's? So 3 plus 5 divided by 2. And then I could do the same exact thing with those with those z values, the 4 and the 2, what falls right in the middle of those. So let's see what this is. <coughs> 5 divided by 2 is 5 halves. This would be 8 halves, which is 4. And this would be 6 halves, which is 3. So again, notice what I'm doing is I'm taking this 2 oops i wrote three uh taking this two and this three and i'm averaging them what's right in in the middle between them and it's five halves right that's 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 two and a half or with the the y values i'm looking at the three and the five right the three and the five what's right between those that's the four so that's that direction and then again with the z same thing um, my z values are 2 and 4. What's right between those? 3. So that would be the midpoint for it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm figuring out um, what my x parts are. If I think of these points as like, uh, if I write them in general terms, I could say I have my first x, my first y, and my first z, right? And they all come from the first point. And then with my second point, I have my second x, my second y and my second z, they all come from the second point. So what I'm doing is, in general, I'm taking, for example, the average of the z's. So the formula might be like z1 plus z2, the first z plus the second z, divided by 2. And then I'm doing the same thing with the, uh, with the y values. In other words, um, y1 plus y2 and dividing by 2. And then same thing with the x values, x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So that's how I can get the midpoint in three dimensions. All right. Hey, give those practice, those extension ones a, a try. I think this is really fun.